You have a nice looking shop. Thank you, sir, but polite don't mean any discounts. Okay, your shop looks like crap then. You should learn some more respect. Are you gonna teach me then, sir? Just doing my job. Don't mean I have to be polite about it. I'll let you slide this time. Medicinal goods. Box of matches. A jar of candy. Well, sir, that will cost you 30 cents. Do you want to buy it? Here you go. Thank you very much, sir. Well, sir, that will cost you 10 cents. Do you want to buy it? Thank you very much, sir. Here you are. Well, sir, that will cost you 30 cents. Do you want to buy it? Thank you very much, sir. Here you are. I need these band aids to heal. It takes a lot of their band-aids to heal yourself. Well, sir, that'll cost you 80 cents. Do you want to buy it? Much, sir. Here you are. Thank you very much, sir. Here you are. Much, sir. Here you are. Ah, 
good day to you, sir. How distasteful it is to have all that dust blowing about out there. I just bet my bottom dollar that a fine figure of a man like you is just dying for a wash and shave. Hmm. What can you tell me about Silverload? Silverload? Hmm. This town is suspicious about outsiders, mister. Not the friendliest of stays. Once this place was a wondrous jewel. That is until... until... the money ran out. You will not want to stay here long, sir. Oh, no. What can you tell me about the preacher? The preacher? He has seen you? He carries out the Lord's word in Silver Lord. He led us from damnation and will once again lead us into salvation. What damnation? What are you talking about? Desperation to prosperity, sir. That is what we have to gain by the preacher's word. Hmm, yes, indeed. Has there been any trouble here? We have troublemakers like most other towns. Perhaps you might have run into Cain and his bully boys. Hmm. They should have been locked away years ago. We get a few cutthroats passing in and out of the town from time to time. You would be wise not to be mistaken as such. Uh, perhaps a shave and a wash, sir. Hmm. I killed Cain and his gang. Uh, dead? Why, um, that's not possible. I mean, how? When? I killed him by the hotel. My, my, that's too bad. There'll be trouble over that. I am the trouble, mister. Trust that guy with a razor? I don't think so. I sure could do with a bath. But not with him in the room. Looks like some kind of torture device. Perfumes, you must be joking. The mirror is shattered. Someone's ten year bad luck. Ah, good day to you, sir. How distasteful it is to have all that dust blowing about out there. I just bet my bottom dollar that a fine figure of a man like you is just dying for a wash and shave. Hmm. Yes, I would like a shave. I'll make you feel as fresh as a newborn babe, if sir would take a seat. Now, that is better, isn't it, sir? Just relax, and I will begin. We'll not keep you long, sir. I am most sorry, sir. These frail hands are not what they used to be. Accept my deepest apologies, and... Go, sir. 
leave this place. That was a dumb thing for me to do. Well, this place is certainly locked up solid. Not my favorite of choices. I could climb that tree to get in through that window. You'd be tired too if you had to lug this cart around all day. Hey, tell me about this town. Why do you want to know? I try not to take notice of the things that go on here. Loose talk costs lives, mister. What's your job here? I work here. Taking things in and out of the town. They pay me okay. I have to take these supplies up to the mountain. What's in the cart? Just lots of tools we need. A hammer for smashing big rocks. <laughs> That's my favorite, mister. What is it like in the saloon? I'd rather be in there than out here. A cool beer would make me feel better. Oh, oh yes, sir. Maybe I can help. What do you want? Uh, I would kill for a long, cool drink. <sighs> that would do the trick. Yes, sir. Okay. I'll go get you a drink. Big fella. Not too bright by the sound of it. Hmm. Loaded with lots of equipment. Nothing out of the ordinary about that. Oh, great one. I have a sample of that meddler's blood for you. You have done well. Now, leave me. I have preparations to undertake. <coughs> A troublemaker. Better keep my gun at hand. A gambler. Should prove a pleasant enough distraction. Motley group of people. Wouldn't trust any of them with my daughter. If I had a daughter. Motley group of people. Wouldn't trust any of them with my daughter. If I had a daughter. The bar. Weird thing. Just what could it mean? I can see a woman gesturing to me. Nothing happens. Nothing happens.
How you doing, stranger? You look like an hombre who has taken a few chances in their time. You feel lucky? How about taking a chance on a little game? Yes. I'll like to play a game. We play snake bite. Do you want to know the rules, gringo? Tell me about the town first. Town of low life. I come here to play a few games, meet the ladies, make a little profit. Then I move on. How long have you been here? Too long. It's no fun being stuck here. They hung a man just for stepping out of line. If it were for that storm, I'd be long gone. Too long. It's no fun being stuck here. They hung a man just for step. What are the rules of this game? You put down a stake of money. I have to match it. If you do not have money, you can put down a valuable. We roll two dice each. Higher than seven and you win. Winner takes all the money. Lower than six, then you lose. If we both score lower than seven, then we both roll again. Double one is snake bite. You lose. You pay double. <laughs> you want to take the chance, gringo? Okay, let's play. Good choice, my friend. I roll first, then you. Name your price. Two dollars. Lady Luck, be with me! I win! Sorry, my friend. I take all. <laughs> How about another game? Okay. Again. Good choice, my friend. I roll first, then you. Name your price. One dollar. Hmm. Fortune smiles on you, stranger. You win this time. Another game? No. I have to get going. <laughs> Nothing happens. Nothing happens. <laughs> Good day to you, sir. You look like you could do with a drink, my friend. Why, well, I just bet you could out-drink a horse if there was any horses around here. <laughs> What'll it be, my friend? What can you tell me about this town? Well, sir, I ain't one for gossip, you know. Too many folk around here don't take too kindly to that kind of thing. <laughs> drink, friend. <laughs> Are you the owner of this saloon? No, sir. I just work the bar here. Look after the place. What does that symbol on top of the bar represent? Oh, nothing, sir. Just some crazy idea. Gives the drunks here something to stare at when Sheila's not around. Do you know anything about a missing child? A child? Don't know anything about a child. Word of advice, sir. Do not go about town saying the wrong thing to the wrong folk. The natives here are a bit, uh, peculiar. Get my drift. Who is Sheila? The sheriff's woman. She lives here. Don't go messing with her. The sheriff, he ain't too keen on folk flirting with Sheila. I've seen him shoot folk for less. I'll like a cup of ale. Good choice, sir. Huh? That will be sixty cents. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.
Anything else you want to say? Yeah, I wouldn't like to say anything more, sir. <laughs> Don't fall asleep here, mate. A drink would perk you up a little. Seems friendly enough. Shouldn't trust him, though. Local barflies. Too drunk to be of any real threat. I couldn't possibly take that. I couldn't possibly take that. Nothing happens. A gunslinger, huh? Well, you look like a man who can more than take care of himself. What you doing in Silverload? Tell me about this town. That loose talk costs lives here, mister. In case you haven't noticed, this town is kind of different. What do they call you, baby? Name's Sheila, mister. I don't care to know your name. Best not to remember the name of a dead man. What's your story, Sugar? Oh, that's a long story, mister. One that I care not to repeat in a hurry. Me. A dead man. You're a man who lives by the gun, ain't you? You're surely gonna die by it. You're a man. I'm just passing through. A gun for hire, huh? The sheriff here does not like your kind. You'd be wise not to advertise your presence so freely. On the other hand, I do need a problem sorting. Look, we can't talk here like this. Go to the street outside and climb the tree to my room. For your sake, make sure no one sees you. How dare you! Get out of my sight! Forgive me. No problem. I like it rough. Just what does that thing represent? That door is locked. <laughs> oh, so tired. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at, mister? You'd be tired too if you had to lug this cart around all day.
Here's your drink. Mm. Uh, that was good. Another one. I'll be right back. Good day to you, sir. You look like you could do with a drink, my friend. Why, well, I just bet you could out-drink a horse if there was any horses around here. <laughs> What'll it be, my friend? Good choice, sir. That will be 60 cents. Thank you, my friend. Hope you enjoy it. Possibly take that. Thank God you came. I trust no one saw how you got in here. There is something terrible about this town that I should tell you. No other mortal that I have told these truths to has lived to tell the tale. Maybe you are the one I have waited for all this time. Please, don't think I'm crazy. Oh my God, it's him! The Sheriff! Quick, hide! What the hell are you doing in here? Nothing yet, but give us a few minutes. I don't like anyone messing with my woman. You are history, my friend.